I said, if you really want to compare this market to anything, please, please skip past 2008. There's no correlation. But go back to 1983 and look at the rate charts, look at the real estate charts, the pricing, look at the inflation rates. They were greater. Inflation was much higher. The rates were much higher. But it's almost a mirror image of what we're seeing now, just not as as high. In other words, we're not looking at an 18% prime rate, right? So, but uh, everything else is relatively the same. We had inflation in, in the late 70s. And I, you know, I was in high school and uh, just just got out of high school about when I graduated in 73. But I remember working, um, you couldn't get a raise. And I remember a lot of the unions were going on strike across the country. Remember Ronald Reagan fired the air traffic controllers? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, well, what are we seeing now? The United Auto Workers are on strike. Uh, California is boosting the minimum wage for fast food to $20 an hour. Um, teachers are going on strike. And that's one of the results of a high inflation number. People are trying to catch up. And Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good good correlation to make. I agree. I wish people weren't. I think just because it was so recent and it shows on a lot of charts, the 06 to 2009, that, that was its own beast. And once again, we could talk about that forever, what was going on. I mean, you could buy stocks. You could buy stocks at 10 to 1 margin. You only had to put 10% down. There was a lot of things going on that. So when the NASDAQ and the dot-com bubble imploded for real, there was a slight implosion in 01. But it, that that was its own you know thing. So I guess every one of them can kind of be different. And I agree with you. The late 70s, early 80s, and then take the 90s too. You know, in the 90s, we had 3 4% inflation. My whole, that was my whole out of college life. And I remember you could uh, kind of almost every year kind of go in and nudge for a 5% raise, you know, because everybody. Oh, yeah. knew. So guess what? Mortgage rates were that whole time. They were 7 8 9% in the 90s. Yeah. So kinda, I kind of feel we're between those two things. We're, we're between this, the 70s high inflation and the 90s, you know, low mid inflation. But we've hit an affordability wall. So we have, we've got the added component of house prices being extremely high. And so when the rates went up, it's like, I'm out. I, ju I just can't do it. You know, even if you wanted to buy, there's just a lot of people right now say, I just can't. But yet inventory is so low that it's still chugging along. And it took a lot of years to unwind from the late seventies into the early eighties and inflation finally got under control. I remember my dad was just starting his real estate brokerage then. And he says, man, if the, I just wish they would just lower rates. And I'm thinking, is it, is it really that simple that somebody just punches a computer and lowers rates? Of course they couldn't then because there weren't any computers, but how do you, <laughs> how do you, how do you just lower the rate? And so it was very confusing. I know for my dad and for a lot of consumers, like why the, why the hell are rates at 18%? I mean, they can't get a mortgage. They trying to kill housing. And the answer is, well, yes. Um, but there's a lot more things besides mortgages that are affected. And yeah, the big we thing had, that scares me now is the national debt. My family actually had, we were a very large um, farm company at that time and had a lot of real estate and actually warehouses. And a lot of people don't know those back in the seventies were the, the banks would, I don't know why. I mean, I was young, so I don't know a lot about it, but I remember the conversations and the conversations I've had since it happened, but we could only get two year arms. So we literally borrowed millions at let's say 10% and three, four years later, it's 18%. They reset every two years and you didn't have the income from the farm to make those payments. I mean, it, it was insane times. I know. I mean, like people were just giving away tractors and get like giving away warehouses. They didn't know what to do. They couldn't make the payment. So like you said, it affects more than just the houses, right? Like I even know a lot of people, I kind of need a new car. And I'm like, man, when I'm looking at the numbers of the price, with the, oh. you know, now you don't, now there's no 0 0.9 interest rate. And I don't want to, I don't want a 120 month car loan. And I'm like, holy cow, that's what a car payment is. I've had three or four new cars in my life. And I've actually paid every one of them off very early, like two, three years. Well, there's no way I can pull that off today. Like 
I mean, that would be a $2,000 payment or something. Well, <laughs> Willie Nelson can have some more concerts and call it car aid. <laughs> Remember you had the farm aid concerts yeah, yeah, back yeah, when yeah. you were saying, yeah, car aid. And uh, so, or student loan aid. 